Hello everyone. Today we will discuss a device that is called capacitor. A capacitor stores electric potential energy as well as charge. Capacitors have tremendous number of practical applications in devices such as electronic flags, unit of photography, pulsed laser, airbag sensor for cars and radio and television receivers. Now we will see how the capacitor looks like. So it is a capacitor that is used in general circuits. It is another kind of capacitor as you can see. We have some small kind of capacitors too. So these kind of capacitors are used in general electric circuits like the charger of your mobile and several electronic kits. Sometimes we also have this kind of capacitors, a very small capacitors that are used in electric circuits. We also have some large kind of capacitors for heavy electric circuit like this. As you can see the rating is 450 volt and like this too. So in general we use a number of capacitors and as I told you that these capacitors basically are used in storing the electric potential energy and electric charge. To make capacitor just insulate two conductors from each other. Now to store electrical energy just provide a charge on one capacitor and the equal amount of charge but opposite charge on the other conductor. Now during this process of providing the charge equal and opposite charge on both the conductors the work has to be done against the potential difference and this work done is stored up in form of electrical energy. So this is a simple set of, of capacitors we have one metallic plate we have another metallic plate and these two are movable it means I can change the separation between the plates. So as per the definition if I will separate two conductors by uh, insulator because air also works as insulator so this constitute a capacitor. We have another set of capacitor here so as you can see I am having two sets of capacitors now in this capacitor the plates are closed and in this capacitor the plates are far away. Now if I will transfer the charge from one plate of this capacitor to another plate by transferring of electron then this plate will become positively charged and as this plate is gaining the electron so it will get negatively charged. So both the plates have same amount of charge but the polarities are opposite. Now just suppose the condition when there was no transfer of electron from one plate to another then initially both the plates were zero charge net zero charge. Now the transfer of electron takes from one plate to another so it will get positively charged and it will get negatively charged the amount of positive charge on this plate and the amount of negative charge on this plate is same so if you will add you will get the net charge as zero so before the transfer of charge from one plate to another and after the transfer of charge or electron the net charge on both the plate is zero now since the plates are charged now one is positively charged and the another is negatively charged so this will result the setup of electric field between the 
plates and hence the potential difference will also set up between these two plates. The electric field between these two plates at any point depends on the amount of charge on the plates and hence we can also say that the potential difference that is between these two plates will also depend on the charge. Now if I will double the amount of charge the field will increase and the potential difference will also increase but the ratio of charge to the potential difference between the plates remains constant for any amount of charge that is given to these plates. So if you will increase the charge, electric field will increase, potential difference will increase but the ratio of charge to the potential difference will remain constant and this constant is called capacitance of the capacitor and this unit is fat. Another unit you can find out from here, this is charge, so the unit is coulomb divided by potential, so this is the unit and volt, so coulomb per volt and farad, both are the units of capacitors. Now, what will happen if I will change the size of this plate or the separation? As you can see that these two plates are closer to each other and these plates are away from each other so if we will find it experimentally the capacitance in this case is smaller than the capacitance between these two cases while the plates are same and the charges are same it means if the charges are same the area is same so on increasing the separation between the plates the capacitance decreases now what I am going to do, I am just replacing these two plates with another two plates of very high area in comparison to this. So as you can see that these two are the plates. Now if I will maintain the separation between these two plates same as this one and if I will provide the same amount of charge on the both the plates it means now the charge on these two plates is similar as the charge on these two plates the separation is same but there is a difference in the area of the plates and it is found that if you will increase the area of the plates the capacitance increases now there is a confusion from this formula as you can see that the capacitance is the ratio of charge on the plates to the potential difference between the plates so sometimes we predict that capacitance is proportional to the charge but this is not true the capacitance of this capacitor does not depend on the charge on the plates let me clear this point by a small activity of a capacitor is the capacity to hold the charge or electrical energy just like suppose I am having a glass so as the glass is manufactured with the dimensions and the dimensions are not changeable right now so suppose the capacity of this glass is 200 ml so it means in respect of capacitor we can say that it can store a energy up to 200 joule just say for an example now if i will pour some water in glass like half now what is the capacity now the capacity is, is still 200 ml the amount of water can be replaced by the charge on the plates and the capacitance by the capacity of this glass so my charge it means the water is half but the capacitance of this glass is 200. If I will lower the amount of water, it means if you will lower the amount of charge, that will also not affect the capacity of this glass. This analogy you can say that the amount of water does not affect the 
capacity of this glass similarly the amount of charge on the plates of capacitor does not affect its capacity